So in this question we have a circle, centre row, and we're told various facts about this diagram, that AB this line here and A and B C C B are both tangents to this circle. Now I'm looking at this and thinking there's a centre out to the point of contact with this tangent that would give us a right angle. Here imagine a picture of a circle, a cycle, bicycle wheel on a road, and there's one of the spokes. But that'll always be a right angle between the tangent and the radius from the centre to the point of contact of the tangent. There's the road there, there's a bicycle wheel, and there's the, ta the spoke, and it makes a right angle with that tangent. Okay. So that's one thing I'm noticing. Next we've got AC and ED are parallel. AC, that's this line here, and ED, this line here, are parallel. Now parallel lines with angles, you notice we've got a Z shape here. Let's put that in a different colour. We've got a Z shape which comes up here, down here, and then up here, where this line and this line are parallel. So the angle in there and the angle in there, they're alternate angles. And they're equal. That's just another fact that we notice when we're working our way through this. So angle AOD is 143. So we can find this green angle in here, angle EOA. It's this angle here because it's supplementary to a this 143 degrees. D O E is a straight angle. So this 143 plus the blue angle here add up to 180. So it'll be 180 minus 143. It's this bit here. So 143 from 180, 37 degrees. Now remember, check these things with your calculator just so that you don't get them wrong in the exam. They are in paper too, so the checks can always be done in the calculator. Now what I've set up here is alternate angles are equal, so this 37 degree is equal to this angle, which will be 37 degrees. So that implies that angle OAC it is also equal to 37 because it's alternate to angle EOA. So that's 37 degrees. Now because this angle here, this red angle, is a right angle, it would mean that this angle is what's left from the 90 degrees after the 37 degrees have been removed. This angle and this angle are complementary, they add up to 90 degrees. So that means angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees minus 37 degrees. That'd be 53 degrees. And the reason for that is that angle B a O is 90 degrees because of this being a tangent and this being a radius. So this part here, 53 degrees. Now another fact that we have is that the, this triangle ABC is isosceles. Now why is that? It's because of the symmetry. If you have a, a Let's do it down here. If you have a circle, and from outside that circle we draw a tangent, and another tangent touching the circle there and there. The whole diagram's symmetrical around this dotted line. So this line here and this line here 
from this common point, a tangent out to the circle, and this tangent out to the circle, these two line segments out to the points of contact, they will be equal. This line here and this line here are equal. BA is equal to BC. So let's, uh, let's just state that since triangle ABC is isosceles, BA equals BC equal tangent. We have angle ACB will also be 52 degrees. What's this angle up here? 52 degrees. It's, these are the two equal sides. That's 52 and that's 52. So we're finally in a position to work out the size of angle ABC. Angle ABC, now remember that the three angles of this triangle ABC add up to 180. So we've got 180 minus a couple of 53s, the roots of the 53. So it's 180 minus 106. So that'll be 74 degrees. This is 74 degrees in here. And the reason for that line, angle, so the angle sum in the triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So there's all the reasoning and working to get 74 degrees.